our gospel today speaks of the mustard seed, and uh, the Lord himself doesn't really clarify exactly what it means. So often the Lord tells a parable, and then he himself explains what the parable is. Uh, in this one, he, he says the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. Uh, it's small, it's planted, and then it grows up to be the largest bush of them all, and birds of the air shelter in its branches. I'm not sure if that clarifies for you what heaven is. It, I'm honest, it doesn't, it doesn't really clarify it much for me. Um, is, could you get a mustard seed? There's some, uh, would you be able? Yeah, sorry, just for our friends at home. Uh, th I think we might even have one here, great. Uh, I feel like I'm back at summer camp again. So <laughs> let's show the children what a mustard seed is. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's actually ridiculously small. Uh, okay. So uh, mustard seed, if you want to bring it up along, that'd be great. Thanks a lot. Grant. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Now, this is a wee jar with a wee mustard seed in it. It's like tiny. Well, you've seen you've seen whole mustard sauce, yeah, or things. Uh, come, the little granules are there, so they're I suppose the size of a grain of salt or a grain of sand. It's fairly ridiculously small. Okay, so you plant that and turns it turns it into this great bush and uh, birds of the air can come and, and land in it and shelter in its branches. Okay, so this is like heaven. How is that like heaven? Um, what's the link like? Uh, what, what's the, how, how does this represent heaven? How does this clarify for us what heaven is? Okay, uh, the Lord goes on to explain in a number of other parables heaven with similar ideas. So when you kind of see, the, see all these various parables put together, it makes they start to make sense. He also says uh, the kingdom of heaven is like uh, yeast, right? Leaven mixed into measure, three measures of flour, right? And uh, then when it, when it rises, the, the, the bread is leavened the whole way through. Ye it makes so it gives chunkiness to bread, okay? G it gives it a bit of life, right? Gives it, makes it swell up, otherwise it's really kind of doughy. So again, you think, how, how on earth is this like heaven? Okay. The answer to the question, if we just get to it, is that uh, sometimes something very, very small makes all the difference. Sometimes something very small makes all the difference. We see this in community life as well. If you're serving a table, right? If, if someone is sitting down and you see that they're missing a fork or they're missing a glass, right? You can walk over, get the fork and say, here's your stupid fork and walk away. Now you've done an act of service. You've done a good thing exteriorly. I mean, you've got their fork. Okay, but the, the attitude of which it is done changes everything, everything. So, so it is with, with our lives in general. It, it is love that changes our actions. It is love that transforms the world. It is love that transforms us. And it is love that transforms simple actions into actions that are actually an investment into our eternal salvation. It is love that makes heaven what heaven is. Love is what makes heaven, heaven. Okay, so why? Because God is love and heaven is being taken into God. So the more transformed into love we are, the more ready for heaven we are. The more love that's in us, the more heavenly our lives are. But love on the outside might look quite small. In fact, you mightn't even see it. You know, if a person is doing a job, if they're digging a hole, planting a tree, you don't necessarily see if they're doing it out of love or not. Maybe you get a grimace every now and again, maybe a couple of swear words <laughs> if they hit a rock or a load of roots or something, right? So maybe you can see, maybe he's not exactly full of love right about now. Uh, but generally speaking, it's the love with which we do something that, that transforms it. And that's, it might look small, but it changes everything. And even with our, within, our, within our, our, ourselves and our own personalities, this might come a little easier to some than to others. Okay? I'm just thinking of a particular community member uh, at the moment who's very, very positive. Bless him, he's great. Always sunshine. If you smacked him, he'd say, oh, he'd feel sorry for you that your hand fell on his face. You know what I mean? Uh, kind of thing. Just so positive, right? Uh, and it's, it's great. Absolutely fantastic, you know? Uh, for others, and this is kind of an, uh, maybe an Irish thing as well, um, we kind of like complaining. <laughs> I think maybe we're kind of good at it. Uh, and it becomes very, very easy. Uh, maybe not so much now that we don't meet up so often, 
But, uh, I mean, it's, it's very easy to start a whole complaining session. Can, you know, meet up, you meet someone in the post office and um, you could just start complaining about the government and the tax and the traffic and the weather. We love complaining about the weather, even though we live in Ireland, it's, it's always like this. It's not really a surprise, like, it's, it's going to rain today. Is it? Is it? Frightening. No, it's, it's Ireland. It, it rains every day, love. It's just really nothing new, like. So, you know, but we, we, just, we love complaining, you know, we're good at it, like. And then you have those people who, uh, if you complain about something, they have to complain about something worse. So, Jean, lads, I woke up this morning and I sprained my ankle. Did you? Did you? Well, I'll tell you one, one better. There was once I jumped over a wall, landed straight on a nail, right? I dislocated my elbow from the knee down, right? It was horrific. <laughs> you know? And if you go to, to, to Tenerife, they have to go to Tenerife, right? It's, they always have to have one worse than you, you know? Uh, so we just, we just love that kind of complaining, you know what I mean? Uh, and, yeah, so, so uh, okay. Bringing it all back though, instead of doing that, how can we transform our lives into lives of love? That's what the kingdom of heaven is like. Your life is transformed into love. So every action you, we do, we do out of love. And that might be a pleasant action, you know, picking flowers for, tho <laughs> for those who like it, right? You know, you can skip through the fields and pick your flowers, wonderful. It's easy to do that out of love. It can also be uh, cleaning out a blocked sewer, you know, you're shoving the rods down and it's not pleasant. Uh, that can be done out of love. Um, I, think, I think this is also why God allows parenthood to be what it is. Uh, it's all cute and lovely to have a little baba. Yep, you're not going to sleep for the next two years. Right? Nappy changes, feeds, teething, and then the terrible twos where every child's favorite word is no, right? No, no, right? So all of that, all of that's ahead of you once you have a baba. And yet, is, isn't that what kind of turns, hopefully, boys into fathers and girls into mothers? Not just the, bio the biology of it, but the, the self-sacrifice, the, the, the getting up, the renouncing oneself, the not spending all of one's time now in, in, in the gym and fingernails and, and, and hair and all anymore. I just have, I've, I can't change a baby's nappy with six foot fingernails. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I could reef the child. So you just have to kind of get over yourself and do what needs to be done out of love. You know, do what needs to be done out of love. And this is what transforms us, like it's love that transforms us. Even uh, like, uh, as priests, we were saying yesterday with St. Thomas Aquinas, it's not what we know that makes us holy. It's not what we know that gets us into heaven. Knowing stuff is easy. Just read some smart books, you'll be grand. That's easy. Uh, translating that into action, that's, that's hard. Because that's daily. You know, you can you get a couple of good books. You can read those in maybe a week. You have loads of information. You sound really smart. Wonderful. Throw the word ecumenical into every second sentence. You sound ridiculously smart. Uh, so what? <laughs> Like, what does this do for your eternal salvation? Unless you put it into practice, nothing. Nothing. It's love. It's love that transforms us. It's love that transforms our actions. It's love that transforms our day. And therefore, it's love that gives meaning to everyone's life, regardless of how visible or invisible it is. So a, a, a bedridden patient in a hospital, or these days maybe even at home, and these days even worse again, maybe not even being visited by their own family, someone suffering alone, their life still has value, it still has meaning because of love. Because they offer their sufferings up out of love, it still has meaning and purpose. You take that truth away, and then unless we're visible, and unless we're kind of making an impact in the world by our Instagram, what's that thing? Inf unless I'm an influencer, right, on Instagram, or writing books, then my life has no meaning because I haven't done anything. I've done nothing noteworthy, you know. But that's not true in God's eyes. You transform your life into love, you've done the most important thing. You've brought a bit of heaven to earth and you're getting your own soul ready for heaven. So today, let us be reminded of this truth that are we mustard seed of love? That's all the Lord asks us to give today. A mustard seed of love. Plant that. The effects it has, you don't know. You plant it in the ground and while you are asleep or while you are awake, the seed is sprouting and growing. How? You don't know. You don't need to know. 
It's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to love. And then of its own accord, the land produces the shoot, the ear, and then a crop. Fruit, the full grain in the ear. When the crop is ready, he loses no time. He starts to reap because harvest time has come. And harvest time will come for each one of us. When eventually, we won't be here anymore. We won't have the opportunity to do things out of love because we will not be around. So let us fill today with love. All of our actions can be done with or without love. With love makes them transformative. Without love makes them useless. So let us transform everything we do today into an act of love for the building up of God's kingdom. Amen.